Last week, it was stated in Hello Hemp that all movement breaks must be held inside the classroom unless escorted by an ESP. Many students have worries about this, as students may not be able to access accommodations, especially with the limited ESPs the school has. We talked to students with 504s and IEPs and NHS Associate Principal Ms. Sheridan to hear their opinions and clear up rumors surrounding the policy. I think that not being able to access the hallways during class will definitely affect me because I have ADHD and sometimes I just need to step outside of the classroom, go for a walk, and without that, I probably won't be able to focus in class. I think that at NHS there are a lot of undiagnosed diagnosed students and um, ones without a 504 plan or an IEP. And I think that these movement breaks that are allowed to all kids are not going to be available to them. And I think that's definitely an issue because they need those breaks just as much as someone that is diagnosed might. I think overall it seems pretty simple. Just kind of give the kids what they need instead of having to make all these rules and setting all these boundaries. It's just easy. As somebody with ADHD who needs to access movement breaks uh, to feel accommodated and to have a good day at school and be able to focus, uh, not being able to access movement breaks uh, will make the school day much more difficult. Uh, and I know a lot of people are feeling the same way. One of the ways that I would change the pass system to be more inclusive is I wouldn't make somebody wait to be accompanied by an ESP or, or, or wait for any sort of special uh, accompaniment to access their accommodations. You know, frequently when people need movement breaks, it's there, it's in the moment. And I think it'll be detrimental to both students learning and also their mental health uh, if they need to wait to be able to access that. So that is a complete non-starter for me. I don't think that this new policy is actually getting to the root issue of the vandalism. Uh, I don't see how restricting students' ability to access their accommodations, something that I feel is a fundamental educational right, is going to improve the well-being of students or staff in any way possible. It'll create more disruptions, it'll create more issues, and it'll make school so much worse for so many people. There are some misunderstandings about the past system that we have in place. Uh, one of the misunderstandings is that folks believe that this is a new system. The system has been in place for as long as I've been at NHS uh, and prior to my role here as an associate principal I was the athletic director so it's been in place for at least eight years if not longer. Movement breaks are also a part of our students with special needs or with additional services, uh, their, their experience at NHS, um, that hasn't changed. That has been a part of accommodations listed through their IEPs or their 504s. Um, and we are not restricting students' access to accommodations. What we are doing is reiterating the current process or the process that's been in place for years. Well, if a student does not have an IEP or a 504, then we encourage our teachers to work with them and their whole classes around group movement breaks within the class. If students have any questions or worries or concerns about anything that's happening in our building, the administrative team, me, Ms. Harrison, Ms. Valcourt, we want to hear from our students directly about how things are going, what challenges they're facing, what we can do to support them. And one way we are trying to open up those lines of communication is through open flex, where students can sign up to meet with any one of us to bring concerns to the table. Thanks for watching. See you next week.